Ah, just took a nice sip of green tea. Get in my EGC gin, uh, which stands for a super long chemical name, which isn't that important. Probably more important is to study the chemistry behind it. Uh, you have a lot of these uh, phenyl rings attached together with OH groups. And whenever you have phenyl with OH, you have phenol. And since there's many linked together, you have polyphenol. Poly, many, phenol is just that little pick there. So poly, many. Okay, you get the point. Just going to accentuate those OH groups. Those are polar bonds, which make this bulky... Um, this bulky molecule, which is mostly nonpolar, go into polar water. Which is what you want when you drink tea, obviously, right? You want it to mix in nicely with the hot water, get into your digestive juices or your stomach, which is uh, contains lots of water, as well as into your bloodstream, which is also mostly water. So EGCG can distribute to uh, different uh, organs um, probably pretty easily based on the fact that it's got so many of those polar OH functional groups is what makes it, of course, the polyphenol, O meaning OH, or some alcohol group. Again, even though it contains lots of that nonpolar uh, CC, um, single bond, and double bond, and C single bond, each nonpolar groups. There are possible health benefits, which we'll talk about now. Drinking green tea. Uh, it's well documented in the scientific literature. You, you, what you want to do is, uh, there's lots of white noise on the internet. Uh, the internet's awesome, obviously, but you know, if you really want some hard scientific evidence for stuff, go to Google Scholar. Uh, that's where you're going to uh, type in a topic and get some scholarly uh, papers and academic articles, which post the citation number and the journal. That's what you want to look for. General reputation in this particular case, Nature, is, is very well known as a... Uh, Having a good reputation as a hard science journal. Uh, this particular article is cited 816 times, which is a lot. And this is put out by a group at the Medical College of Ohio. Why drinking drink? Uh, why drinking green tea could prevent cancer? With a computer model, they actually were able to create a scenario where EGCG uh, binds to an enzyme. That's overexpressed in human cancer, is thereby blocking it. Interestingly, uh, they think that the same OH groups in green tea hydrogen bond to uh, amino acid residues on that enzyme. Uh, so they, uh, which are also capable of hydrogen bond. So in other words, the EGCG gets stuck in there because of intermolecular force hydrogen bonding. You can look up that article. Some pretty cool stuff in there. Second paper is published in the famous Journal of American Medical Association, cited a whopping 643 times. And they followed 40,000 Japanese adults uh, that drank green tea regularly for about 11 years. And, and they found a significant uh, reduction in CVD, cardiovascular disease, implying that there may be some protective effect there. I don't think they found a significant reduction in cancer rates with that study, but there's all the information there. You can read it on your own. Third paper is uh, centers on an animal study. There is a known um, lung tumor gene in mice. Uh, it just means that genesis means make tumor. Tumor genesis means make tumors. So what they do is they have these animal model where they are able to predict how many tumors should result from a specific dosage of a lung tumor gen. Um, this way they can determine uh, whether or not the uh, thing that they're giving the mice is actually decreasing the tumors. In this case it did. Uh, tumors were cut in about half in the experimental group from the control group. Uh, when the mice were given both the lung trimogen and the green tea. And that paper was published in journal Cancer Research, cited 431 times. And this is done by the Chung group in D.C. Uh, he's at Georgetown, Can uh, Georgetown uh, Cancer Center now. 
they think that uh, an antioxidant mechanism may be possible. I think they also measured uh, oxidative damage to DNA in that study, but you can check that out. So there you go.